Well, Liverpool against Aston Villa has certainly been eventful over the past few seasons, and now with Villa, one of the more upwardly mobile teams in the Premier League, it represents another tough test for Liverpool at this tough start to this new Premier League season. The second Anfield game, of course, is a mirror of the final home game of last season as Aston Villa come to time with Unai Emery. And as we say, they've spent big, hasn't everybody in the Premier League, and they look very, very strong after getting plundered on the opening day. They've been pretty perfect ever since. Well, Liverpool were certainly at their very best late on at Newcastle a week ago. It was uh, quite a stunning effort to turn that game round out of nothing, having been without Virgil van Dijk from the 28th minute, the hero of the day, Darwin Nunez, comes into the Liverpool starting 11 today. Also, as well, Curtis Jones returned to the starting lineup. He returned to training this week and is put straight into the team. And Joe Gomez starts in place of van Dijk for his 200th club career appearance. Well, since Unai Emery has taken charge of Aston Villa, you'd struggle to find many better in the Premier League than what Villa have achieved. They only have three defeats towards the end of, of last season. Today, with all the transfers that they've made and the signings that they've come in, there's only two of the new boys who start today's game. Paul Torres, who's arrived from Villarreal, where, of course, Emery was previously. And Musa Diab is a really interesting signing, coming in from German football in the Bundesliga with Leverkusen, where he was really coveted by many, many top Champions League clubs. back with Martinez it's Paul Torres has taken a chance and uh, with the challenge that he's made it is at the moment a Liverpool corner I don't think it, there is anything untoward clearly makes contact with the ball then the contact comes from Nunez now there's the early corner which is going to come all the way through where it's hit oh what a strike Dominic Soboslai with a stunning goal, unsavable, unstoppable, Soboslai has arrived at Anfield. But from that sort of distance, you just want the player to make a good strike, good connection, and he does exceptionally well for that. It actually takes off, and the goalkeeper Martinez has got absolutely no chance whatsoever to stop that. Dominic Soboslai has always had an eye for goal, but did he expect his first Liverpool goal to be this good? Wow. Sensational at Newcastle last week. In a, in a different role as he went more defensive to help his team out. That's Alexander-Arnold again. And he's picked out Salah again. And Darwin Nunez. Oh, it's in. It's come off cash. Liverpool have another. Darwin Nunez couldn't. Get it past the post. But Matty Cash is very, very unfortunate. Liverpool, though, deservedly have a second. Trent Alexander Arnold finds Mohamed Salah, who is again a willing runner to go in behind that back four of Aston Villa. That replay would suggest that he's onside. It's just a wee touch in there. And Nunez meets it absolutely perfectly to take it past Martinez. He can't do anything about it, the fullback. It just comes ricocheting off the post and hits him straight on the leg and goes into the back of the net, as he does. Darwin Nunez, Luis Diaz has made an incredible run and he's thrown to the ground and it will be yellow. It's brilliant from Liverpool the way they've moved downfield. Camaro will get a, a yellow card. Alexander Arnold has gone across goal. Chance for Liverpool. Joel Matip with the goal at his mercy. He's left to wonder what could and should have been. Nicely done by Cash. That's a nice ball. Douglas Lewis opening the game up really smartly for Luca Din. It's a great little dummy. And somehow the ball ends up wide of the post from Bailey. And it's somehow. There's a shake of his head, and rightly so. You wonder how he's missed it, really. Here's Alexander-Arnold. Oh, that's offside against Salah, but Nunez will chase and will be onside. And Villa stop for a moment. Now Salah comes into the game. Nunez goes again. He's hit the woodwork this time. Away by Cash. Jones. Appealing for a penalty now, Liverpool. Oh, that's a little bit too far for Alexander-Arnold. Well, 
Villa by the skin of the teeth are still in this game. Really intelligent play from Mohamed Salah. And then this is so unlucky. There's only thing, one thing he can do, and that's try and lift it over Martinez. He does that exceptionally well, does Darwin Nunez, but ever so slightly too high. That's another piercing pass that's found Mohamed Salah for Liverpool. And Martinez makes the save. But for a, a bit of bad luck, a bit of goalkeeping, a little bit of wayward finishing, Liverpool would have been 4-5 up in this first half. Here's Kamara. And this is Din, who served at one delightful ball in the first half and does so again. It's a save by Alisson, who tells everybody it didn't cross the line. Villa thought it had. See there, Alison Becker. Just watch his movement. Falls the ball, falls across. He's in prime position to stop that. It's a great header from Cash, Matty Cash. You can't argue with that. And here they go again, Liverpool. There's an attempted handball by Din. Play goes on. Salah. And oh, Darwin Nunez can't score. Just tried to get it towards the goal. Threw everything at it. Well, such a difficult one to take. Mohamed Salah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? He's only really got Darwin Nunez to try and pick out. Oh, it's, it's such an awkward one to take. You can see the way that his body shape, got, he's actually going with his legs, he's going with his head, he's trying to get anything, sort of part of his body to get it onto target. And here's Matip, and here's Alexander Arnold, and off goes Alexander Arnold. And wins a corner. Well, you feel a third will end uh, any Villa resistance. Robertson takes, oh, there's a flick at the near post, and it's turned home by Mohamed Salah, who scores now for Liverpool in 150 different games. It's a stunning achievement from a sensational little player. Another stunning Salah achievement. But when you talk about top goal scorers, you, you talk about the likes of Michael Owen, the likes of Robbie Fowler, and the one thing that they all have in common is anticipation. The anticipation from Mohamed Salah that the fact that Darwin Nunez is going to get that flick on, he takes a chance, he believes that he can get in there, and then on the half volley at the far post, it's just a little toe poke to find the back of the net. It's brilliant from Alexander Arnold. He's just danced his way through midfield. He wants to go all the way, and he wasn't far away from finding the top corner. And a goal that would have lit up Anfield. And instead of trying to make the pass, he attempts the shot, which he just gets underneath a little bit and lifts it over. It was dipping, wasn't it? It wasn't that far away. Well, that's not a good ball. And here's Gakpo. And here's Salah. He's got one. Defenders uh, are doing enough to make sure he's not going to get two there. And eventually, he's going to end up with a corner. He's annoyed with himself because there was a chance there for a moment. Andrew Robertson will take the corner. And then they all go flying in. It's uh, away by Zaniolo. That's Matip. That's Soboslai! <laughs> it's a good setup by Joel Matip. And ball comes across here. Just lays it back to them. That lovely, that's a lovely little first touch. It just sets it up really lovely on his left foot. Ever so slightly, he just snatches his at it a little bit and pulls it. Not even at the races today for, for most of this game, have they? No, Liverpool, I mean, Liverpool have been good, but... Yeah, I think you've got to give a little bit of respect to Liverpool because they have been good. Here, here go Liverpool again, and it's going to break for Salah. And Martinez flings himself to get the ball away. Well, Dominic Soboslai will take the corner. Lots of jostling and movement in and around the penalty area. Liverpool have deserved the fourth and they're looking for one here. It comes out to Elliot. Well, it does go wide via a deflection. Elliot ends up on the floor as well. Having been clattered into as he delivered the shot. Thinks about hitting it the first time, he takes the, the touch. And that just allows the other player to get it. It's Diaby that gets the half ball. 
Well, if this is the new Liverpool, we like what we see, because that is near a, a perfect home performance from Jurgen Klopp's side, as you could wish to see. They were simply irresistible from the opening whistle. Liverpool 3, Aston Villa 0.